Well, ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome back on the Celebrity Beyond, our first ever celebrity cruise. This video is going to be a must see. We're going to talk all about celebrity cruises, give it a brutal review, give our pros and cons, what we liked and what we didn't like, and who we think it might be for. It's going to be a brutal review, so stick by. And we were really surprised by some of the stuff here on Celebrity. Do you know when we're talking about pros and cons, David? One of the things that I'm not that keen on, I'm, I'm a little 50-50 on, is the infinite balcony. So the cabins here on Celebrity Beyond, well, most of the balcony cabins anyway, there are regular balcony cabins as well, but just a few of them, have this infinite balcony thing in my bob. So you've got these cool little things which close as well. So if you want privacy and port, that's fine as well. But I do feel like we're missing a balcony because the problem is, and it is a big problem for us because we like our cabin cool, is that if you open these windows, all of the air just comes in, the air conditioning stops. Even with these extra doors closed, the cabin gets immediately hot. And I'm talking like 10, 15 degrees hotter and it takes hours for it to cool down. I love it. I mean, I love the view. The view is fantastic. It's floor to ceiling windows, which honestly looks spectacular. Spectacular. I have never seen anything like it on any other cruise. It's all controlled by touch buttons. So you touch a button to bring down the blackout blind, which is awesome. And it does make the cabins really, really dark. And it is really cool. So it's, it's fantastic in principle. And I think it would be brilliant in colder weather cruises like Alaska or Northern Europe, places like that. But straight away, bam, humidity. It really heats up the room. And we've noticed that our cabins in general are quite warm anyway on a night. But yeah, look at this view, guys. I mean, it does give you, on the pro side, a superb view because you're kind of right at the edge of the ship. So it's in, it really is infinite. So whilst it looks beautiful in the cabin when it's closed, in practicality, I'm not sure. And we think they could have put some more comfortable seating here as well because they are sort of like outdoor furniture, but it is an indoor space. So a nice, lovely couch would have been lovely. Another pro slash con is the blackout blinds are amazing and they do make it incredibly dark in here on a night. But during the day, it does become a little bit of a hot box in there if you do have the sun on the side of your window and it gets very, very hot in that balcony area and you have to close them blinds, don't you? So it means that your room is basically pitch black all day yeah. if you have the sun on you, otherwise you'll melt. And I've had that open five minutes and it honestly feels as, as warm as outside now, which is a bit of a problem, but hey... It is most undisputably the most amazing view I've ever had in any cabin. It really is wonderful. It's just that opening it is a little bit of a problem. We've got the, the incredible Captain Kate at the helm of the ship, which is really awesome. She's such a fantastic leader and so inspirational. You need to check out her stuff on Instagram and uh, TikTok as well. She's invited us to enjoy the aqua class features of the ship. So this is like the spa and the... Um, aqua class restaurant it's called blue so should we go check that out for breakfast i'm super excited thanks captain kate yes good morning everybody another thing is i like to sit outside on the balcony and ben wants to sit inside and it means that two people can't do that at the same time because one of them has to have the window open and the other one might want to be sat in the aircon in the cool so that's another downside but look how lovely it looks when you do have them closed it gives you a very diffused light so that's really lovely but if you do have the sun on yet it still gets very very hot and one feature that we really love and i don't think we've seen on any other ship apart from maybe virgin is that you can use the celebrity cruises app which you can download on your phone and use it not only as a virtual key, so use it as a key to get into your room, but you can actually control everything as well, which is super cool. So you can tr control all of the lights, the blinds, the windows, everything. It's so, so cool. So you don't even have to get out of bed to open things up and turn things on. That's a pretty cool feature. We've got to say, we really, really do love these cabins. We are very surprised at how beautifully they are designed. Just there's something really elegant about them. The bed is probably the best bed we've ever slept in, just because it's a king-size bed rather than a double or a queen bed. And that bathroom is a standard bathroom and it's blooming huge. By far the biggest bathroom we have seen in any standard non-suite cabin. It is beautiful in there. It is gorgeous, a huge shower, lots of storage. Should we give the cabin a score? Because we're gonna score everything out of 10 on the ship from the entertainment to the ship to the food. Let's start with the cabin. We're giving it a nine out of 10. The only point we're taking off is one point for the infinite veranda for letting heat in. But apart from that, 
one of our favourite cabins of all time. It's beautiful. Less talking and blooming starving. Let's go for breakfast. Shall we go? I'm excited, David, to try this out. It's a first for us, the blue restaurant. It looks beautiful from what we've seen on the outside. We've just looked through the windows. Let us in. Let us in. So we're in the blue restaurant. Now this is for aqua class passengers. Anyway, we're not gonna go into too much detail about Aqua Class. Basically, you get unlimited access to the thermal suite. You do get the all-included package as well, which we already had. We paid for that ourselves, which is the um, classic beverage package, Wi-Fi and gratuities, which is really good as well. Obviously, you get access to Blue Restaurant as well, which is open for breakfast and dinner every day and lunch on sea days. And then you get a few things like extra water in your cabins, a few little extra wellness things. So you get a wellness class and all of that jazz as well. I think the whole thing around Aqua Class is that it's kind of a wellness experience. So really fresh, healthy food in the restaurants and things like that. But it's a, a great experience. So we're going to bring you a little bit of that this morning with our lovely meal. We put our orders in. Again, the crew have been fantastic on this cruise so far. We're going to be scoring them later on and really excited to um, get eating. We've got the most important thing of the day coffee and it tastes blooming delicious yum i'll be drinking a gallon or two of that i can tell you that i really like this restaurant it's really lovely i'm loving all the little blue touches in the decor the artwork on the wall it really goes with the ship but at the same time feels really unique these plates are beautiful as well and I might slip them in my bag. I know we always joke about it. We've never stolen anything, but maybe these plates will come with us. There's always a first. Exactly. I just started off with something really light. I just got the seasonal fruit selection, uh, which just comes with a lovely collection of fruits, all beautifully presented on the plate. That's a lovely. Oh yeah, loving all of the little blue touches. It's awesome. Anyway, I went for the blue parfait. There's lots of blue themed dishes in this restaurant. That is so delicate and light. I do love my granola and yogurt and that little touch of blueberries and the blueberry compote at the bottom. Oh, it's making me sizzling. I love it. Absolutely delicious. What a wonderful start to the day. You know, it's a posh place when you get real fresh orange juice included. David, aren't you glad we came here? I'm very grateful we came here. Oh, well, David, do you know why the fruit plate was embarrassed? Because the kiwi. How did you know that? You just ruined my joke. How cute is that? Got a little flower of butter. I got to make your own omelette. You don't actually make the omelette. The chef does it for you, but you get to choose all your ingredients. And I got some toast on the side. A perfectly prepared omelette. Fabulous. And how do I like my eggs in the morning? Well, preferably in my mouth. And I went for the Eggs Benedict, and it looks really lovely. I do love a good Eggs Benedict. So we're gonna give it the Eggs Benedict tryout, shall we? Beautiful, a delicious hollandaise sauce. Really, really good. Eggs beautifully cooked. Lovely little English muffin and some spinach on there as well. So it's a little bit healthy as well, so I feel good. What a beautiful breakfast. Really, really enjoyed it here in blue. Wonderful. Oh, look. A blue bush. I haven't seen one of those before, have you? Just finished breakfast, I am absolutely stuffed. Now this is an ongoing theme on this ship, being stuffed. It's a good time to score the food and this one is a big one for us and we know it's a big one for you guys as well because food is probably one of the most important things on a cruise because you do an awful lot of eating whilst you're on one. It has been amazing from the specialty food to the included food in the main dining rooms and the buffet as well, where the food has not only been plentiful, but it's been super high quality as well. And there are so many different choices on board this ship. It is ridiculous how many places you can eat. It's been absolutely fantastic. So we're giving it a 10 out of 10. Some of the best cruise food we've seen on any ship, especially a main cruise line, like a non-small luxury brand. It's the best, it's fantastic. So comparing it to cruise lines such as Royal Caribbean and Norwegian, it is so, so much better. It's a proper step up. Similar to Princess in some ways, I'd probably still say a little bit better. It's even as good as we would say Viking Cruise Line as well, which is a luxury brand. It's been really fantastic. We've been super, super impressed. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for the food. Gold star to celebrity beyond chefs. We've had a wonderful time when Gran came in today and we're gonna have a little adventure. So should we get off and go? How amazing is that? We've just nipped back to our rooms to grab some stuff for our day in Grand Cayman. And look who's just pulled in. It's the old Disney Magic, our first ever cruise ship. So our first ever cruise was on board the Disney Magic and it kickstarted our YouTube career. It gave us our love for cruise. So she definitely has a special place in our hearts. And like a bolt out of the blue, she's right in front of me and you. <laughs> that was cheesy. I love it. What a beautiful ship. Are you all set for our day in Grand Cayman? 
Yes, I'm all set to head off the ship today to Grand Cayman, and today is a tender port. If you don't know what that means, it means that we have to get a little boat to take us to land because we're not actually docked. So we're going to head down there now. You do need to collect a tender ticket first, so a little ticket, and that just helps with crowd control of people getting off the cruise line. So if you do get off first thing and it is a busy cruise, you may have a long wait. But we've waited a little bit, so we're going to hopefully see if it's quite quiet now. But if you have booked a shore excursion on the cruise line, you don't need a tender ticket because you will get one automatically when you get off. And a top tip, if you're an elite member or above with celebrity cruises, you don't need to wait either because you can get off nice and early without any tender tickets. And we're elite because of our diamond status on Royal Caribbean, so get us being all cruise professionals. So one of our favorite places on the ship has to be Cafe Albaccio. Now this is the coffee shop on board and it's right in the Grand Atrium, which is really cool. We're always here for our coffee. It's included in the classic drinks package as well. And they've always got a lovely selection of sweets, which are always complimentary as well. So there's pastries and cakes and things like that. And lovely views of the outside. It's a proper lovely relaxing space. We're just waiting to get off the ship now. It is very busy with people getting off. So we're just letting the, the majority of the crowds go so we can have a nice relaxing journey over to Grand Cayman. Off we go, time to tender to Grand Cayman. Let's do this. Here we go, we're on the tender. We're not using the official tenders today because we use the tenders in Grand Cayman. They have their own, but the tenders on Celebrity Beyond are supposed to be amazing, like a lovely little ship inside. But yeah, it's so cool being so up close to the ship. Here we go, it's only gonna take a few minutes because it's just over the way there. And we didn't have to wait long to get on either. Super easy process. That was quick and easy. Luckily the tender's very quiet. Really big tender boats as well, they're huge. So welcome to Grand Cayman. Yes, that only took just a few moments. Our beautiful ship in the background, she looks absolutely gorgeous. We're just coming in with the Disney ship, so it's funny to see kids, because we haven't seen many of them in the last few days. I forgot what they look like, but there's hundreds on that ship. <laughs> so the port is your standard Caribbean port. Lots of shops, lots of people selling to us. As we always say, it's much cheaper to do it by yourself once you get off the ship, but do make sure that you get back to the ship on time. So we're in the taxi, looking forward to seeing this beach. We haven't been there before, it's gonna be a fun day. Desperate to get in that water as well because it is really humid and hot, which is great. We've been very lucky with all of the weather on this cruise, so thumbs up so far. So we've arrived at Seven Mile Beach. We decided to come here in the end just because there's a little bit more life here with lots of vendors and we can get a taxi back easy as well instead of going to Cemetery Beach, which is a little bit further. Gotta say, Grand Cayman, it feels like the least Caribbean island I've ever been to. It feels a lot more like the US. It's very built up. Obviously lots of banks here as well. That's what they're famous for. It's very clean, very built up. Feels a lot like Miami or Florida and very much not like the Caribbean, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. Yeah, Seven Mile Beach, just a 10 minute drive from the port. And that was with traffic as well, so it's really close. We can actually see the cruise ships from here. Beautiful white sand, it is super, super soft and very, very clean. It is a popular beach. There is uh, two ships in today and it is quite busy, but it's not too bad. There's still lots of space. We've just walked along a little bit just to get a little bit more space. Lots of sunbeds for hire. There's food here. There's jet skis for hire. All your usual amenities. So, so guys, the funniest thing is hiding behind a bush to get changed and not see, letting anybody see you. It's quite funny. We should have really have got changed on the ship before we came because there isn't many toilets where we are right now. But all changed in our swimwear. Let's go in the ocean. Super excited for this. I am boiling. Here we go. Look at that water. Oh, that's the most refreshing thing ever. The first step into the water, it's freezing, it's beautiful. Oh, this is paradise. It's freezing. It's crystal clear though, beautiful water, but it's very, very cold. Stop moaning and get in. I'm doing breaths like I'm giving birth. <laughs> that is cold. It's cold. Oh, it's that bit when it gets a little bit more of your skin. Oh, it's reached to the middle level of my body. All the guys will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Christopher Columbus. I feel like the luckiest person on earth right now. I really do. So glad you guys could come and join us as well. It's the best that we get to take you everywhere with us. We wouldn't be without yet, wouldn't be the same. Totally recommend this beach if you have kids as well, just because it is spotless, beautiful, beautiful water and the sand is so smooth and lovely. Oh, I do like Grand Cayman. It has been years since we've been here. Nobody's too pushy in port, which is something you sometimes see with people trying to sell you things and all of that jazz. Oh, there's a plane going overhead. That's cool. We must be near an airport. 
Oh, look at me. I'm like Sherlock Holmes working things out. No, it's a lovely place to come. Beautiful. There are some stormy clouds on the horizon, though. I can see a bit of rain over there. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't rain. I can see Steph over there as well. She looks like she's just floating in sheer bliss. He's sinking. It gets deep very quick, but this is beautiful. Water's freezing cold. Very clean water as well. Super relaxed. One of the best one of the best beaches I think I've been to in the Caribbean in a long time. Well, hello and welcome to Costa Mia in good old Mexico. We just wanted to show you what we got up to in this port because we haven't taken you around here. So it's a little five minute walk all the way to the little port area. And we're going to go and explore and see what there is. Let's go, shall we? Welcome to Costa Maya. Or as we say, it looks a bit like Jurassic Park. So yeah, just after a few minutes walk, we're here in port and it's really nice. As soon as you get in here, there's loads of signs of where to go and what to do. And if you want to book a last minute excursion as well with one of the local tour operators, you can do that there as well. Today, we didn't arrive till after 12 uh, p.m. noon. So we don't have that long here, only about six hours. So we're just gonna have a little chill and wander around. It's just lovely to stretch our legs and get some lovely vitamin D, isn't it? Hi, Bob and Susan. As you can see, Bob and Susan really like Costa Mere. It's a really fun port with lots to do, so let's go show you around and waste no more time. <laughs> Come on, Bob and Susan. So obviously there's all your usual shops, Diamonds International, Tanzania International, Tat International, Duty Free, all usual port stuff here. But there is also a market further back where they do sell a lot of like local crafts and things. So if you just explore a little further, we'll find some more shopping. Yes, loads of different shops, places to eat, places to relax. Yep, all of the people try and get you to come in, which is great. Really friendly, lovely people here as well. And there's actually even a pool as well, which you can get in. And if you choose to eat or drink here, you can get a free sunbed as well. So pretty good if you don't fancy getting an excursion to a beach or something, but loads and loads of different shopping, drinking and eating opportunities. You can also choose to swim with dolphins and things here as well, but we're not too keen on that because they look like they're in a really tight little spot, which isn't really nice. Honestly, they'll offer you anything to get you in their stores. I've even just been offered some free shampoo. I don't know if I need it or anything. No, uh, if you do want to get anything from here, just barter with them. And remember, most of the prices are in um, pesos, not US dollars. So you might get a shock when you see the price, but actually it's pesos. So guys, we're about to do something crazy now. We're gonna put our lives uh, in our friend Steph's hands. We're probably gonna die or crash because we're gonna hire out a, a mini golf cart thingamabob. It's gonna be fun, $60, so just $20 each to hire one out. Ben and David going off-road with Steph. We've got Captain Steph at the helm, and we are off on our little Mexican adventure in a golf cart. David, are you excited? Si, vamonos, andale, andale. <laughs> I'm clinging on for dear life. If you throw me off the back of this thing, I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. We've got absolutely no idea where we're going or what we're planning to do. We're just freestyling it. $60 though, this is so cheap and such a fun way to see Mexico. I didn't realize they had roundabouts in Mexico as well. How crazy. Oh my gosh, how fun was that? That was so fun. Thanks to driver Steph. Now this day turned out completely different to what I thought we were going to do, but it's turned out so much more fun. And this beach looks beautiful. Just look at them colours. Oh, so we just stopped off at a lovely little lighthouse here with a beautiful sea view. Just sat here for a little bit, listening to the waves, looking to the beautiful ocean. It's gorgeous. I love this freedom of having our own little car so we can just drive around. So we're just going to have a little drive around now and see if we can see any sights, have a look at a couple of the beaches. We've made a little friend as well, a beautiful little dog, bless him. Uh, Steph's gave him some water because it is very hot today. He's obviously a stray. Gorgeous little dog, he's following us around everywhere. Obviously don't pet any animals that you see because you don't know what they're going to have, any diseases or anything. So you do need to be careful with that, but what a little gorgeous doggy. So if you do see us around, don't pet us. Don't pet us, we're bad dogs. Woof, and I do bite. And he's off. Hi. See? They've actually left me, guys. <laughs> They've totally left me. Guys, he's joined us. He won't leave us alone. We've got a friend, guys. He's came into our car. Come on, Baba. I know we, we gave you water, but you've got to leave now. 
we've got to get back to the ship. I don't know if we're going to get you back on. Well, we've reached the end of the trail. I think if we went any further, we'd literally be in the ocean. So we've decided to stop at the bar, came for a drink, and we got ourselves a bucket of beer. You get five beers for $15. The nice thing is the further away you get from the port, it's the calmer it is and there's less people harassing you. So, so we came to the Chunky Monkey and really chilled, really relaxed, nice shaded. Even doing massages and things here as well, if you want to have a massage. Oh, it's like riding a horse. I'm holding on for dear life. <laughs> oh my gosh, the road is so bumpy. This is hilarious. Ah! So David's driving the rest of the way home. Honestly, been such a fun day. Looking forward to a fantastic night on board Celebrity Beyond as well. It's gonna be great. <laughs> what a way to travel, eh? That looks terrifying. Are you having a go next, Ben? No, thank you, David. Are they just going to fall? I don't know. I think it's some sort of dance. It's very cool. Yeah, but it's a dance, uh, like the top of a gigantic pole. There is not a chance that I would go that far up. You know how terrified I am of heights. I really am. It's the worst thing ever. Anyway, we're just heading back to the ship now. We've got a beautiful view of these ships. No offense to the other ships, but she's definitely the best looking ship I've seen ever from the outside. She looks beautiful. Sorry, princess. Sorry, carnival. But Celebrity Cruises wins the beauty contest. Such a fun day. Had an absolutely awesome day. I love it when you come in back to uh, the cruise ship and you've had an awesome day. The sun's setting. You feel all happy and relaxed and ready for some fun back on the ship. Let's go. Thank you very much. That's nice, ice cold towels, just what I need. I, I love the little extras you get with the premium cruise line. Cold towels, welcome on board. They'll even carry you to your room if you really want them to. So when you get on and off the ship on the Celebrity Beyond, it's really cool because they've got like a dedicated entrance and exit area called Destination Getaway. What's unusual is that you usually go like behind the scenes to get on and off, but it's like a proper area with scanners and everything and it's a super comfortable area. It's just really different to anything we've seen on any other cruise ship. They've actually put an effort into the getting off and getting on bit, which is really nice. David, this is a secret exit back on the ship. What? Where does this bring you out? It's awesome. Oh my gosh, we're right in the center of the ship. That's brilliant. I know, it takes you out right into the heart of the ship. I feel like a VIP behind the scenes entrance. That's awesome. We're all ready for tonight and we've came up to grab some drinks for sunset. We love sunsets on cruises. They're absolutely beautiful and it's definitely our favorite time of the day. Also, the ship transforms on a night as well. This ship looks so pretty on an evening. It's possibly the most gorgeous ship on a night. They've done a really good job of all the lights and it truly does take on a different personality on the top decks on a night. Oh, it is. This ship is so lovely on an evening. It's gorgeous. It's such a lovely atmosphere. I still can't get over this jogging track. It goes up a hill. So if you are looking to do some exercise, this is a great one because there's the little added bonus of having the, the slope up to the top. It's a very unique design and something we haven't seen on cruise ships before. Oh, it's got a lovely vibe. I do love the vibe on Celebrity so far. Very grown up, very classy, love it. So we're gonna head to the back of the ship and go to the Sunset Bar. This is a lovely themed area right at the back of the ship and it's kind of Greek Mediterranean, it's gorgeous. It's just past the lovely rooftop garden, which is a garden on a ship. It's awesome. How are you, Ben? Are you thirsty? Really thirsty. I've not had a drink all day. Desperate. Yeah, for sure. I think this is one of my favorite spots on Beyond. It's just so unique to anything else. It really does feel like a sweet area on different ships. So say on Princess or Royal Caribbean, it does feel very exclusive and not like one of the included areas for normal guests in non-suite areas. There's live music and a DJ and obviously these amazing views all the way around the ship. Cheers guys, got my gin and tonic, having this one for you. <laughs> I always say this, but you get the best sunsets at sea and tonight is absolutely no exception. It looks spectacular and the ship is all starting to glow and light up as well. She looks really beautiful. Oh, well, so we've sat down, we've came to the rooftop garden grill, and this is such a unique restaurant because it's outside on the top decks within the garden space. So it's a really lovely, lovely setting. And we've banked a reservation at sunset. Definitely recommend doing sunset if you can. It's about six o'clock on our cruise because we're gonna get these beautiful views. It's an American grill restaurant. So it has lots of steak, lots of meats, 
kind of like a steakhouse meets barbecue with some other fresh options on there as well. So really delish. I went for the cauliflower dish, which comes with some, a beautiful tomato base. It's got Greek uh, yogurt on there as well. I love the cauliflower. It's cooked perfectly. It's got a really nice flavor to it. The tomato base and the Greek yogurt as well go really well together. That is delicious. Ooh, and I've went for the spicy buffalo chicken wings and don't they look blooming delicious? Sally Field eating fried green tomatoes. They are hot and toot and hot. Oh my gosh, they're very good. Lots of taste, lots of flavor. And I like that they're not too dry. They've actually got a bit of sauce on them, which is really nice as well. And they're very moist and delicious and tender. Really good starter. My second starter, I went for the, um, it's like a meze plate. So it's some vegetables, some pitas, as well as three dips. I've got a eggplant dip, I've got a hummus, and also a cheese dip as well, a cheese and cream dip. It tastes quite dry. It's not like your usual hummus where it's quite like creamy. The cheese dip for the winner, that is delicious. And something's got a little bit of spice in it. I think it was the hummus. I'm getting a little bit of after kick from that. But I love this, this is a great little starter. Ooh, and I went for the watermelon and feta salad, but we have a problem. It's got olives on there, so I'm gonna have to work around that. Who's with me? Who doesn't like olives? Let us know in the comment section below if you're, if you're an olive fan or not. David loves them. I can't bloody stand them. Anyway, let's have a little try of this, shall we? Super, super juicy and fresh and cold, with, along with the lovely smooth cheese. That's a really good salad as far as salads go. You know me guys, I'm not the biggest fan of lettuce leaves and I can't see one in sight, so I'm happy with this salad. Delicious. So my main course got the grilled branzino. Let's give this a go, shall we? It's beautifully presented, really nice color on the outside, and it looks really crispy as well, which looks good. It's really hot, well cooked. I wish it had a little more flavor on the outside. It's a little bland, the fish. And the cream spinach is also a little, little bland as well, maybe more salt, but it's a really well cooked fish. I just like more of a crispy outside. I've have had this previously with a beautiful crispy outside, but it's a really nice dish. And again, really nice and hot. Ooh, and mine is a little bit naughty. It's called the WTF burger. <laughs> it's huge as well. It's got crispy onions on there, some pickles, and it comes with a portion of fries, which are really good. I've already tucked into those. I'm gonna go in manually. Let's do this. I'm gonna take out the stick. That is super yummy. It's really, really juicy. Those crispy onions are literally to die for. It's got cheese in there as well. You can order a selection of different sides, so I went for the fries. We also got the mac and cheese, which is really nice. It's got little bacon bits in there. And we've got some baked beans, but they're not like baked beans at home. They're black beans. At home, baked beans are sort of red. I want, every, I want all my fries to be served like this in the future, please. We've ordered every single dessert, starting with a s'mores type dessert. Then we have a peach cobbler. Then we have a cherry and apple pie, and then we have a freshly baked campfire cookie. They smell wonderful. So just to let you know, we are with Steph and we're sharing four desserts between the three of us. So it's not like we've got four desserts each. So we haven't got 12 desserts, we're not that bad. Definitely my favorite was the cookie, absolutely delicious, freshly baked. It takes about 10 minutes to bake with a big dollop of ice cream on there. And I like the s'mores dessert as well. It was really nice, but you did have to dig for those graham crackers or graham crackers as you guys in the States call them. Then the two fruity ones weren't that great in my opinion, but really lovely meal, really enjoyed it. So that was a great meal at the Garden Grill. Really enjoyed sitting outside as well. Fabulous food. The only thing we'll say again though is we think it's very expensive for what you actually get. So it was $45 each, obviously. And then on top of there, you've got gratuity and tax. The food we felt was very similar to what you find on maybe Playmakers and Royal Caribbean. Yeah, it was double the price what you'd pay in somewhere like Playmakers. Very similar menu. A lot of the items on there we have seen on the Playmakers menu. So we just don't think it was worth what we paid. So before the show begins, we thought we'd rate the entertainment and tell you what we think. So overall, we're going to say that the entertainment is an 8 out of 10. The production shows here in the main fair are absolutely incredible. Some of the best singers and performers that we've ever seen on any cruise ship. There is, however, some parts of the ship that do let it down. For example, we were a little bit disappointed with the entertainment in Eden. We found it was kind of like a generic cruise show and nothing new that we've not seen on any other cruise line. So, all in all, an 8 out of 10. Totally agree. The shows in the main theatre are spectacular. Honestly, two of the best shows we have ever seen on any cruise ship with the best cast we've seen as well. But like David said, elsewhere it can feel a little bit dated and old-fashioned. 
There's lots of trivia, however, and lots of game shows and things like that, so there always are things going on. So eight out of 10, I think it's a really good score. We are really surprised and quite happy with the entertainment on board. We've not been bored at all. One thing that's really shocked us, just from all of the marketing materials and things that we saw from Celebrity, is that the crowd is much more mature than we thought it would be. Absolutely not a complaint whatsoever. We'd say the majority of passengers, 95% are sort of couples in their 60s and 70s. Now this is just a lot older than we thought it would be just because of the marketing material we've seen online and pictures of the cruise ship. And just the cruise ship itself, it's such a super modern cutting edge cruise ship. So it's something to be aware of that we were surprised with. Another thing that we're surprised with is that there are only 12 children on board. 12 children how crazy is that it's almost a two-thirds full ship so we can't really say if it's good or not for kids on the ship but from what i've seen and heard probably not i mean we were in port with a disney ship today and then a royal caribbean ship the day before and there were loads of kids on there so i think that says a lot for this cruise line at the moment anyway there's probably other cruise lines which are better for kids one thing that we've noticed on this cruise as well and this isn't everybody we've met lots and lots of lovely people and lovely cruises on this cruise however there is a small minority of people that we've come across who have been a little bit snobbish and a little bit arrogant. I don't know how to describe it, but there is a sense that we don't belong here and we almost don't fit in. And every now and again, we do sort of feel like that with certain people on the ship. But overall, the majority of people are really nice and really lovely, but it is a small amount of people that are kind of spoiling it for everybody. Yeah, it's really hard to explain what we're saying without sounding like complete prats because we're not mourning, it's not a moan. We're just saying little things like there's a lot of people who sort of seem to expect to have priority over us, which sounds ridiculous. Maybe because we're younger, sort of cutting in line in front of us, shouting over us when we're trying to order something, sort of cutting in line in buffets and then tutting at us when we sort of walk past and don't move massively for them like it's some sort of right that we should completely move for them we've been in shows that are completely full and it's almost been insinuated that we should stand up and move so people who came in after us can sit down because they're older which is a bit strange as well i've got to say another thing that's a tiny little bit disappointing that we would have liked to have seen a little bit more of is that it doesn't feel massively inclusive like we thought it would do. So celebrity cruisers are always advertising that they're very pride friendly and very diverse. None of the shows have any diversity in them. We had more diversity on Carnival Cruise Line. So we don't feel as comfortable as we thought we would do. We don't feel being comfortable as being openly gay men is what I'm trying to say, guys. It's not a complaint, but it's just something we're a little bit surprised of. I just feel more comfortable on Royal Caribbean, Carnival, NCL, and of course, Virgin and other cruise lines. It's just a little bit of a surprise, really. There seems just to be a lack of diversity. Could this just be our cruise? Absolutely. Whether it's like that on all celebrity cruises, we don't know, but there is definitely a lack of diversity within the passengers on this very cruise. Probably the least we've seen on any cruise we've been on. Right, let's move on to something a little bit more positive, shall we? Let's give you our thoughts and our score for the actual ship itself. Well, the ship is beautiful. We love all the different spaces. It does feel like there is a lot of public areas on the ship and also the artwork as well. There is tons and tons of artwork around the ship, which really does add a lot of texture and a lot of style to the ship. And also the pool area is beautiful and that solarium. So overall, we do think that the ship is an eight out of 10. And there is a reason why we didn't quite give it a 10 out of 10. And that is because some of the venues are just too small for the shows. In particular, Eden, we found was a very, very awkward venue for the shows that they put in there. There is a lack of seating and it does fill up very quickly. But we absolutely love the Grand Atrium. That is a fantastic space and all the other spaces on the ship as well. And it does feel like a premium ship. It does feel like they put a lot of money into this. So who do we think this cruise line is for? And especially the celebrity bot beyond. Well, it's for people who really appreciate good food. Really, really good service. We're going to get to that in a second. And just like having a fun time. Honestly, we have been surprised as well about how fun this ship is. People stay up late, they party, they drink, they have a good time, they love to use the pool areas. It's really surprised us in that respect compared to some other cruise lines, even big cruise lines like Norwegian and Royal Caribbean. For us, I think I would have to recommend it to couples in particular, just because most people are couples on board, it's just something that we've seen or maybe groups of friends getting back together and wanting to have a fun time. But like I mentioned, we have to mention the crew and we're gonna score them as well. 
I'm not even going to bat around the bush, guys. 10 out of 10. The crew on this ship are spec freaking tacular. Like the ship's name, they have went above and beyond. Honestly, they have been amazing. There are so many of them as well. It's our first cruise in a long time on a big cruise ship like this where it feels like the ship is fully staffed. We haven't had to really wait for anything. The service in the bars and restaurants have been absolutely fantastic. The crew love to chat to you and have a lovely time. Honestly, the crew have been spectacular and they have to have been the biggest plus for me on this cruise ship. They have been just lovely. So thank you so much. All led by Captain Kate as well, who is so lovely as well and so personable. She's such a fantastic leader. And we can always tell within 10 seconds of getting on a cruise ship whether or not the crew are happy. And it's the happiest crew we've seen in a long time. So let's talk about the technology on the ship. This is something that every cruiser and every cruise ship now really does have a big focus on and we do have to talk about it. Well, the app. So if you have used Royal Caribbean, the app is exactly the same here on Celebrity and we always think it's a great solid app. You can basically do everything you need to do on the app and it just works. It's really, really fantastic. And the Wi-Fi. I know that a lot of people don't want Wi-Fi on the cruise ships and prefer it not to be a thing but a lot of us do need wi-fi so the wi-fi on here is powered by starlink that is the brand new wi-fi system and we experience the basic wi-fi package i had that on my phone ben paid extra for the premium wi-fi now it was patchy in places the basic wi-fi was good enough to update social media and to check emails the premium wi-fi we were able to stream netflix on there watch youtube videos video calls were a little patchy and uploading as well was very very slow and like we said it wasn't amazing all the time there was times especially the first day and today where it did go quite slow so for that reason adding in the uh, technology on the app and the Wi-Fi, we're gonna give it a nine out of 10. Oh gosh, I'm really tired now. We've had such a fun time. You sometimes need a holiday after a cruise. I'm not even kidding you. We've had a lot of fun here on Celebrity Cruises. Overall, we've been massively, massively impressed and we will be back on Celebrity again. Should we go hit the hay guys? Let's go. It's been a long one. <laughs> Well, so David, that's it for our first ever cruise on Celebrity Cruises. We finally done it, guys. You asked for it. We bloomin' did it, didn't we? We absolutely did. Big thank you for watching and a big special thank you to our patrons. If you'd like to support us in return for becoming a patron, you get extra benefits like behind the scenes videos. We pop up our videos early as well. Plus they're completely advert free. And once a month we do a big Zoom chat, which is also a lot of fun. You can find out more about becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description section below. And please don't forget to subscribe. The ship's wobbling. It's going bumpity bumpity bump. Can you feel it? We're near the back and it's, it's sort of bum, 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 bum. It's a free it, massage. It's Don't a free complain. massage tonight in bed. Anyway, that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. We'll see you on the next cruise line. Let's go.